Welcome to Top 10 Archive. All this galactic travel is tiring, but we're still sad to know that we're only two planets away from completing this journey. For this out-of-this-world installment, we're visiting Venus, sometimes known as Earth's sister planet. Join us on one of our last planetary escapes for 10 great facts about the second rock from the Sun. Number 10. Discovering Venus with the exception of a few planets, the discovery of most of them can be attributed to somebody or some bodies. Venus actually falls in the minority in this case, with its original discovery being impossible to pinpoint. Being so bright on a clear night, Venus could be visible to the naked eye, meaning that any ancient civilization could be credited with the first observation. Copernicus, and later Galileo Galilei, are responsible for Venus's classification as a planet, while Mikhail Lomonosov has been credited with initially discovering the planet's gaseous atmosphere in 1761, a claim later verified in 1790 by astronomer Johann Schroeder. Number 9. Naming the Bright Planet Though Venus has been visually observable for as long as mankind can remember, we didn't always have a name to put to the face. Like many of its planetary brethren, Venus received its most popular moniker via a selection of Roman gods and goddesses, in this case, Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love, and counterpart to the Greeks, Aphrodite. Ah, but it wasn't always known as such, especially to ancient Babylonians, who recognized Venus as the Star of Ishtar, their own goddess of fertility, love, war, and sex. The symbol for womanhood has even been adopted as the symbol for this planet of love and strong women. Number 8. Phosphorus, Hesperus, Lucifer, and Vesper Prior to being officially dubbed Venus, Greeks and Romans had unknowingly turned Venus into two different stars. To the Greeks, Venus was both Phosphorus and Hesperus, while the Romans recognized it as Lucifer and Vesper. But neither knew that the alleged two stars they were referencing was actually one body. The source of the confusion that led both civilizations to believe there was a morning star and evening star was because as its orbit around the sun surpasses Earth's orbit, it goes from being visible only after sunset to only being visible prior to sunrise. Number 7. An Unusual Rotation Here on Earth, we're used to rotating counterclockwise and at a rate that gives us an approximate 24-hour day. Should we ever have to leave our home world for Venus, we would have some adjustments to get used to. One such adjustment being the planet's rotation, which is both considerably slower and completely backwards. What does that mean exactly? Well, instead of the sun rising in the east, you get a western sunrise, and a day would be the equivalent to about eight months on Earth. It takes 224.65 24-hour Earth days for Venus to complete an orbit, and 243 days to complete a full rotation meaning a year on Venus is about the same length as a day on Venus. Imagine adapting to that calendar. 6. Seeing through Venus's atmosphere While it's completely possible to view Venus from the surface of the Earth on a completely clear day, the same can't be said for the reverse. In fact, if standing on the surface of Venus were even possible, and we'll get to why it's not in a minute, you wouldn't be able to see beyond the thick, gaseous atmosphere. The opaque atmosphere is made up of 96.5% carbon dioxide, 3.5% nitrogen, and a congregation of other gases, with sulfur dioxide making up a large portion of the trace elements. With an atmospheric pressure 92 times that of Earth, penetrating the thick, impervious layer has been borderline impossible for now. Number 5. Average Surface Temperature On top of being incredibly difficult to penetrate, Venus's atmosphere adds a devilish layer to the multitude of reasons why extended landfall hasn't been possible. On average, due to the greenhouse effect from the atmospheric composition, the surface temperature of Venus keeps to a steady 462 degrees Celsius or 864 degrees Fahrenheit. Compared to Earth's average 16 degrees Celsius or 61 degrees Fahrenheit, it's an astronomical difference. Due to the incredibly high temperatures, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, beating out Mercury despite its closest position to the Sun. Essentially, Venus's atmosphere allows light from the Sun to pass through and heat the surface while simultaneously keeping infrared heat from escaping. Number 4. Visiting the Second Rock from the Sun It may be highly unlikely that a human ever gets the chance to touch down on the surface of Venus, but that doesn't mean our trusty machines can't make the trip for us. On December 15, 1970, the Soviets sent an unmanned spacecraft, 
Venera 7 to the surface of Venus after six unsuccessful attempts. It was, in fact, a milestone, being the first spacecraft to ever land on a different planet and transmit information back to Earth. Transmissions from Venera 7 on Venus's surface lasted approximately 20 minutes before the extreme temperatures and high pressure destroyed it. Since then, another nine Venera missions had been sent along with over a dozen journeys from NASA and the European Space Agency. Number 3. Earth's Sister Planet Sure, Earth and Venus have their differences, but in hindsight, the two have some remarkably similar qualities. The first notable resemblance between the two is size, with Venus's diameter coming in at 7,520 miles or 12,103.6 kilometers, only 405 miles or 653 kilometers smaller than Earth's. Additionally, Venus also shares rather close numbers when it comes to volume, surface area, and mass, with each ranging between 81% to 90% that of Earth's properties. Should you dig through the many layers of Venus, you'll also find it to have a metal core surrounded by silica rock and a thinner crust. Number 2. A Sad Moonless Life While we may feel cheated out of multiple moons, Venus actually doesn't get to enjoy the company of a glowing natural satellite at night. Since Venus is so similar to Earth, it's often questioned why it doesn't have its own moon. It's believed that Venus, like Earth, suffered a large collision, and since Earth's moon was formed by such an event, it, too, should have a satellite of its own. But theories point to a possible second collision that removed such a moon from the picture. The concept of a double impact would explain Venus's unusual rotation, but it would also make possible a change in gravitational relationship where Venus's moon would move towards the planet, ultimately colliding with it. Number 1. A Tropical Paradise? Venus may be a scorching surface of death today, but that may not have always been the case. With a surface temperature as high as it has, it's logical that water in its liquid form would be impossible to form, but take away the incredible heat and you have what could have been a habitable planet. Scientists like astrobiologist David Grinspoon believe that early Venus was actually home to vast oceans, though others, such as Dima Bolmatov of Cornell University, hypothesized they weren't as we know them. Due to the high concentration of carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, it's theorized that Venus was covered in a carbon dioxide fluid that eventually evaporated. Okay, plan it right now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have an idea for a future top 10 video, share it with us in the comment section below. And look for the links below to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, top10archive.net. Oh Venus, oh Venus. I can't believe you listened to this all the way to the end just for that. <laughs>